Standing here in this beautiful new facility on this day of dedication, day of dedication, standing here as a representative of the people of the book, I cannot help but say thank you for this museum. Thank you for this wonderful gift. And how appropriate to use that terminology for we call the Bible a gift. We speak of Matan Torah, the gift of Torah. And so this museum, which is dedicated to the book, which has had such a lasting impact on the world, tells in a creative and imaginative way the story of the book, of the book that tells the story of the wanderings of a nomadic people, the history of a motley crew, a motley group of slaves who dared to challenge the supreme power of its era, who dared to go against the prevailing notion of the time and to believe in one God. It is the book that tells the story of Israel's encounter with the divine and of what it is that God asks of us. For as the prophet Micah taught, what does the Lord require of you? Only to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. The Bible indeed is a unique work of literature containing laws and legislation, morals and ethics, philosophy and poetry, even love poetry, as well as the inspiring ideals imparted by the prophets, imploring us to implement their clarion call for justice for all. The Bible demands of us that we create a world where all will be treated with respect and dignity. For in its opening passage, we are told that we are all created, but selim Elohim, in the image of God. Throughout the ages, our people have studied the Bible, poring over its words and analyzing every letter in search of nuance and meaning because it is treated as the word of God and is therefore the foundational sacred text of our heritage. Through interpretation, the book comes alive and remains relevant and ever-changing. In fact, as soon as we complete the annual cycle of reading the Torah, on our holiday known as Simchat Torah, we immediately begin anew the reading because we seek to glean from, God, it, God, from it God's eternal message to us. A story is told about a rabbi who once was asked, why is it that when you pray, you do it so quickly, but when you read the Bible, you take your time, and it takes so long? And the rabbi replied, that's because when I pray, I'm speaking to God, and God has the prayers of a lot of people to listen to, so I don't want to take up too much of his time. But when I read the Bible, he said, God is speaking to me, and so I must do it slowly so I can hear every word and understand what it is that God asks of me. My Bible teacher once said, there are those who say the Bible is holy and that is why it is great. And there are those who say the Bible is great and that is why it is holy. Regardless, it is clear that it is great and it is holy. For are there any passages or words more uplifting than love your neighbor as yourself? Do not stand idly by the blood of your neighbor. Justice, justice shall you pursue. In the beginning, God. Am I my brother's keeper? Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. You shall be holy, because I, the Lord your God, am holy. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. There is a time for everything under the heaven. A man once asked a rabbi thousands of years ago to sum up the essence of Torah, and while standing on one foot, and after giving his concise answer, he said, the rest is commentary, go and study. And so, dear friends, may this be a place where people from all over the world will come to study. May people come here to grow and be inspired. May we take to heart the words of the prophet Isaiah. In the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall stand firm above the mountains, and it shall tower above the hills, and all the nations shall gaze upon it with joy. Many people shall... Say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, so that he may teach us of his ways, so we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall come forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. We pray, may the word of God emanate from this place as well. We pray, may all who come here grow and be inspired by the eternal truths and messages that are found in this book, so that its words are not just proclaimed as great, but so that men and women shall strive to live by its teachings and bring it into their daily lives. And let us say, Amen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senate Chaplain 